Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be going over my audio workbox. I use this workbox for front of house mixing, monitor mixing, system teching, system deployments, and pretty much everything in between. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what I carry with me at every show. Let's go ahead and hop into what I carry in my case. Starting in the top left, we have a Switchcraft 318. It's basically a DI, takes in a eighth inch TRS, outputs it into a mono XLR feed, has a built-in ground lift, and a bind if you need to drop a mono feed, you're not too concerned about stereo, um, this thing will do it for you. Great, it stays with an aux cable, they go hand in hand. Starting down here, um, we have my 64 audio in-ears. These are the A6 models, absolutely love them. I've been running these things for probably seven years or so, and they've never failed me. I uh, highly recommend 64, specifically the balance drivers. These are six for all you mix uh, engineers. For flat response, go with three, sixes, nines, or twelves. Sound really great, or I guess you go up to the 18s. Coming down here, we have a decibel meter. This is just a cheap Amazon decibel meter. Uh, that only does A weighting, but in a bind, um, if I need to just pull out a meter real quick, this will do the trick for me. All right, next to that is some 64 audio molded in-ears. I'm super big on hearing protection. I use these from um, when I'm working on amps, I have to work on stage or run up to stage for something, or just simply if I'm out mowing my lawn, I'll pull these out of my case and use them. Highly recommend uh, getting molded in ears. Uh, is keep work on your hearing protection and your hearing health early in life. Uh, we're gonna move up here to the top section. Uh, this is a Earthworks M23 measurement microphone. Um, does exactly what it sounds like. I use this with my smart rig and it does a trick. It is a amazing, amazing microphone for um, for the price. It is a little pricey, but I guess, but uh, you know, you're getting a great quality microphone. Under that, I have uh, my all time favorite Leatherman tool. This is a Leatherman squirt. It's an all-in-one um, Leatherman for electricians and low voltage. It has wire strippers on it and uh, spring assisted. So if you need to uh, do stripping wires or anything like that, um, you can, and it also has the regular Leatherman tools. We're not going to go into that one. Leatherman ES4, if you're wondering, you want to look up some more specs on that. Uh, coming into this pocket, just a basic tape measure here uh, for running out in front of house, figuring out measurements, anything like that, or tape off to a fly bar and making sure your trim height is accurate for your PA. Spike tape, because spike tape. Um, I have a, just a dumb unmanaged switch here. Um, if, if, you know, we forget a switch or we need an extra switch, we have that as well. Little stubby screwdriver. Um, this one has um, the ratcheting feature. It's cool. It does the thing. If you need a little screwdriver to get in tight places, that will do it for you. Um, power supply for the network switch. Coming into the cables, I'm not a huge advocate on carrying a lot of cables. I, I really do feel um, that the companies you're working for should provide you with a lot of cables. And if they're not there, that's really not your fault. Um, but I'm gonna just go ahead and show what I do carry. Dual TRS, quarter inch to dual RCA. Uh, we'll get into those in a second. This is a TRS to TRS. An XLR, I use this one for my front of house talkback mic. And a um, XLR male to TRS, quarter inch. Additionally, I carry these two cables. These are dual TS, quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter and a dual RCA. Um, to 3.5 millimeter. Let's see if we can get that focus there. Next to this, I have my adapters. I'm not even gonna open this. These are just various adapters, ethercom barrels, gender changers, all those things. Adapters, carry them, they're good. Here's the first flashlight that I carry in my case. This is a magnetic flashlight, has three settings. Uh, I'm a huge advocate for carrying cheap flashlights because they're gonna get lost. People are gonna take them, they're not gonna return them. Go to Harbor Freight, get cheap flashlights because they're gonna disappear. Um, in here, we're starting to get into some audio accessories. Um, there is a mic clip down here. Um, I have, actually, you know, we're gonna come back to that in a second. Let's go ahead and hop into this drawer. So in this drawer, or in this pocket here, we have all the things that I, um, well, these two things I carry and put on my person right away when I get to a show. So in this guy, I have a pen. I have a Fee Torch EC10 little flashlight. I love this little flashlight. Look it up if you need a great pocket-sized flashlight. There's some great features on it. Um, and then I, I call this, um, or this is a Lutz tool made by Lutz, and it has um, just little bits on there. You can use this for adjusting body packs or whatever, so I'll carry that on me at all times as well in this little holster here. And then I also carry a 
Leatherman Wave Plus um, in the black, and I carry that in a Kydex molded holster with the belt clip. Let's get into our microphones. I'm gonna start with my talkback microphone. So I carry a SE V7 talkback microphone. It's a great microphone. They just released a Switch version not too long ago, so I picked it up, and I've been pretty happy with it. I've only used it a couple times, but um, I replaced my 58 Switch with, with this microphone here. And the main reason is I think it's a great vocal microphone, and in a pinch, I can take that little Lutz tool, lock down this um, little screw, and leave it in the on position. And what I do when I switch is I will take this grill here that I carry in this other pouch, put it on there so I'm not getting other people's germs on it. Um, another mic that I carry, the only other mic I should say that I carry is an Audix D6. In my opinion, this is the best microphone ever created. Um, no, it is a great microphone. I love it for kick drum. Um, my one, number one pet peeve, the number one thing I do not like at a show is showing up to that show and not having a D6. So I carry a D6 with me at all times. Um, mics are another thing I believe the companies you're working with should provide, um, but again, D6 is just my flavor choice, so I carry D6. A lot of the companies I work for love D6s, so a lot of times we have two D6s at the show uh, with mine, and the only thing better than one D6 is two D6s in my opinion. So we're going to hop back to this little pouch here. I carry, I'm not even going to open this. This is just spare earplugs. We'll open um, this. I carry these little Milwaukee if I, for some reason, forget to load my... Uh, molded in ears I'll carry or my molded ear plugs I'll carry these little guys here and in this pouch is just two more sets again hearing protection hearing protection hearing protection and not uh, overly stress uh, hearing protection so down in here um, we have the Manfrotto little tripod this is what I put my RTA microphone on at front of house it's got some cool adjustments and um, it's just overall it's a great it's a great unit um, you can you know Lock it in here to the mic clip. It's pretty easy to do. Then I carry a little Husky 23 piece rationing screwdriver set, just a bigger version of the other one that I carry with some little little sockets and some more bits and stuff like that. That lives down in there. Coming down into this pocket, carry this Behringer P2. This is just a little headphone amplifier. Comes in handy a lot. Sometimes I've had to lend this out to musicians if they're they want to run in ears and they need to come off a um, mono return from um, like a stage snake or sub snake or something like that. Um, this will give them the ability to do that. And then I have my interface. This is part of my um, my fly rig, if you will, here um, for, for smart. I have another front of house rack with a built-in smart rig that I'm gonna be doing a video on later. But this is my fly rig interface, the Scarlet 2i2 second generation. It's a Scarlet 2i2. Nothing fancy there. We're gonna hop up here. I kind of skipped over this earlier. This is just the calibrator for the measurement microphone and I can also calibrate my um, little um, decibel meter if I need to there. I put this back in here because my case is getting a little light. It wants to tip over. So starting up here, I carry some tools. This is just an inclinometer here. Um, great for flying PA, you can put it on the fly bar, make sure all your angles, angles are correct, and then also make sure if you know, you're leveling stage decks or anything that you can level out your decks. Another little cheap flashlight, this is the cheap version that uh, just in case somebody needs to borrow a little one. Again, cheap flashlights that you don't care if you lose because they're gonna get lost. Um, and here, laser range finder, this thing's absolutely incredible. It's cheap on Amazon. I'll try to add um, links below to a lot of these products, um, but this is great for measuring heights. Um, sometimes uh, I'll shoot the bottom box of a PA so I can check height that way. Um, also check front of house distances. Um, little utility knife here. This is a RJ45 tester. Um, unfortunately, you can't do the Ethercon barrels. You have to take the, you know, the XL or the barrel off of it to get it into this device, but it does split. So you can take um, one to one end and one to the other end and test a long run of RJ45. Really helpful, especially with today. Everyone is doing, um, yeah, doing data runs for front of house. Last thing in this little pocket is this is just spare in-ears. If I somehow something forget my, my 64s or something happens to them, these are just some spare Amazon cheap in-ears. Alrighty, moving on to the top side of the case. Up here in the top left, this is just a notebook and a pen. I need to take notes, little acoustics 
NAM special notebook there. Um, I have been doing more digital notes recently, but it is there if I want to write some things down. Uh, if you're doing running gun cell shows, touring, anything like that, please carry a voltmeter, the amount of time, or a multimeter. The amount of times that I have been and shown up to a show and the voltage was wrong uh, is, it's, it's, it's sad, you know. Um, a lot of times the power guys aren't too concerned and they're giving us bad power, so check that, especially at the festivals and things like that where power is running off a generator hundreds of feet away and you have spider boxes. If you're like me, you're entrusted with uh, taking care of other people's gear when you go on shows, so make sure before you turn that piece of gear on you've verified the voltage is correct and clean. Uh, top left here, we just have some pens. These are, um, I carry inks all. Milwaukee ink saw pens. These are fine tips, so they're great for um, sub snakes and things like that, scribble strips. There's also a pair of tweezers in here. If something falls into a crevice and you need to get it out, I carry a pair of tweezers in here as well. There's a couple of pens and all that. I'm not gonna pull them all out, but there's just multiple pens in there with backups. In this pocket, I carry medicine, so emergency. Um, long days, your immune system, I don't care how young you are, 20 hour day is a 20 hour day. Take emergency, uh, make sure you uh, don't get sick. And I also keep Advil and things in here, as well as business cards and a couple band-aids. So that is what lives in there. Let's hop over to this little pouch here. So in here, this opens and reveals a lot of my um, little adapters and cables and things like that. So here is a um, quarter inch TRS to eighth inch, another RCA to 3.5 millimeter. This is an eighth inch extender, eighth inch on both sides, male and female. Um, um, this is a USB A to B with a USB C adapter on the end. Down here is a USB A to ethernet and then a TRS to eighth inch, same cable as this one, just a little bit shorter. Down here I keep all my flash drives for all my console files and system deployment files. Um, I recommend separating um, just because you don't want to make sure, or you want to make sure if a console corrupts one, you have backup. So I keep LQ6 deployment files on this guy. Uh, I think this is Yamaha um, Digico files. And then this is X32, M32 files. And this um, Lex one, which is my favorite one, is, let me pull it out of here. I just keep pretty much a backup on here. So this is just more, this is pretty much everything in here and it just broke, love it. <laughs> cool, well that'll have to get fixed. All right, on to the next thing and the last thing in this case is in the back and that is just a, I keep my, let me get this open here. I keep an iPad Air 2 um, for, for mixing from front of house or whatever you might need. I run an iPad or two. If I have this thing forever, the battery's still good on it, it still holds in, so I run this for Yamaha Mix App, X32, M32 Mix App, and all those kind of things. Kinds of things, I also have um, the Sound Tools app on here for um, RTA, if I need it as well, through a special uh, interface that lives in another case of mine. So that's pretty much everything I keep in my um, my work box. I do have, there's some miscellaneous things here, the calibration sheet for my microphones in there. Um, but I do want to mention I carry my backpack with me all the time. If this case is with me 9 out of 10 times, my backpack's with me 10 out of 10 times. So there's some core pieces in there as well that we'll go over here now. Cool. Lastly, I just kind of want to go over some of the core things I keep in my backpack. I'm not going to do a full backpack overview just because there's a lot of other things in there that aren't related to audio things. So we're just going to go through this. So in my backpack, I carry a USB-C um, hub, carry USB-C to Ethernet adapter, I carry this Milwaukee headlamp. Again, this is so crucial. It stays in my backpack with me, so I have it all, at all times. This has probably been one of my biggest lifesavers I ever carry with me. These were Carhartt shooting gloves. I'm not sure where or how long ago I got them, but they do have um, the touch enabled finger so you can use the iPad and everything. And I'll be honest, we here on the West Coast, on the Central Coast of California, they like to run show season through um, November, December. And granted, we're not talking Midwest um, winters, it still gets down into, you know, the mid, low 40s, high 30s, and it can get really, really cold. So wearing these while I'm trying to mix so I can actually fill my fingers has been amazing. This is just an SSD um, 
hard drive here that carries a lot of files and backups and things like that. This is a IP rated power bank with solar. This thing charges a lot. It has, um, this is the max capacity for um, carrying on planes and things like that. So carry a power bank with me. And then last but not least, this is just a little first aid kit. Um, has bandages, uh, some scissors, some gloves, some gauze, medical tape, and things like that. Um, I, again, highly recommend carrying a uh, first aid kit with you at all times. So these are the things that live in my backpack. Like I said, nine out of 10 times I have my case, 10 out of 10 times I have my backpack. So all of these things are always with me right here. I did forget to mention my 2022 M1 MacBook Pro. This runs smart, wireless workbench, uh, all the console editing apps and all those other things. This lives in my backpack and is with me at every show. That wraps up everything I carry with me and take with me when I do shows. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, drop them below. We'll chat soon. Thanks.